Hello friends in this part we have start discussing how can we update and delete encrypted data by using PHP script with Ajax and jQuery. In previous part we have already discussed how to insert form data in encrypted form by using PHP with Ajax. For update data here in update button we can see id attribute and in this we have store user id in encrypted form and in class we have use update, we will use this class as selector in jQuery code. So when we have click on this update button then modal has been pop up with form field with filled data in normal text box. So for this we have go to jQuery code and here we have write dollar document selector with on method and under this we have right click event with button class update, so when we have click on update button then this code will execute. Under this first we have write id variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write id. This code will fetch id value from update button and store into this id variable. Below this we have write crud action variable is equal to fetch single, we will use this variable value in server side script. Now we have start write ajax request and under this we have write first option url set to user action dot php page, here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method and here we have write post, so here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option and in this we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have send it and crud action variable data to server. In fourth option we have define data type option and in this option we can define data type in which we want to receive data from server, so here we have write JSON. Lastly we have write success callback function and this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this first we have write dollar with span tag id validation error with html method with blank value, it will clear html code of this span tag. Then after we have write dollar with modal id user modal with modal method and under this we have write show, it will pop up modal on web page. Now we want to change title of modal. So we have write dollar with modal title class with text method and under this we have write edit user. This code will change modal header title to edit user. Below this we have write dollar with text box at first name with value method and under this method we have write data dot first name, it will fill first name text box with data. After this we have write dollar with text box id last name with value method and under this method we have write data dot last name, it will fill last name text box with data. Same way we have write dollar with text box id phone with value method and under this method we have write data dot phone, it will fill phone text box with data. Lastly we want to fill email address text box. So we have write dollar with text box id email address with value method and under this method we have write data dot email address, it will fill the email address text box with data. Same way we want to assign value to hidden tag with name id, so here we have write dollar with hidden tag id with value method and under this we have write id variable. After this we have write dollar with hidden tag id crud action with value method and under this we have write edit, it will change value of crud action hidden tag. And lastly we want to change button value, so we have write dollar with button id action with value method and under this we have write edit, it will change button value. Now we have moved to write php code in user action dot php page, so here we have write else if statement and under condition we have write dollar post crud action variable value is equal to fetch single, if this condition true then it will execute this block of code.
Under this block first we want to decrypt value of encrypted id variable, so we have write dollar id variable is equal to convert string function with two argument like decrypt action and dollar post id variable. It will convert encrypted id variable value to normal text. Below this we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from user table where it is equal to dollar id. This query will fetch particular user data from table. After this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable. It will make query for execution. Now we want to execute query, so we have write dollar statement variable is equal to execute method, it will execute prepare statement query. After this we want to fetch query execution data, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to fetch all method, this method will fetch data from query execution. Now we want to fetch data from dollar result variable, so we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row variable. By using this loop we can fetch data from this dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write dollar data first name variable is equal to convert string function with two argument like decrypt and dollar row first name variable. It will convert encrypted data to normal text and store into this dollar data first name variable. Below this we have write dollar data last name variable is equal to convert string function with two argument like decrypt and dollar row last name variable. It will convert encrypted data to normal text and store into this dollar data last name variable. Same way we have write dollar data phone variable is equal to convert string function with two argument like decrypt and dollar row phone variable. It will convert encrypted data to normal text and store into this dollar data phone variable. Lastly we have write dollar data email address variable is equal to convert string function with two argument like decrypt and dollar o email address variable. It will convert encrypted data to normal text and store into this dollar data email address variable. Friend here we can see user data with update and delete button and now we have click on this update button and after clicking on update button modal has been pop up on web page. In modal we can see user form with filled form field with particular user data and here we can see modal header title change to edit user and submit button name also change to edit. So when we have click on this edit button user form has been submitted and we have already write query code for submit user form data to server script. So we have directly go to user action .php page and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post crud action variable value is equal to edit, if this condition true then it will execute this block of code. Under this block first we want to convert encrypted id value to normal text, so we have write dollar id variable is equal to convert string function with two argument like decrypt and dollar post id variable. Below this we have write dollar query is equal to update user table set first name is equal to dollar first name, last name is equal to dollar last name variable, phone is equal to dollar phone variable, email is equal to dollar email variable where it is equal to dollar it variable. This query will update particular user data based on value of this dollar id variable. And here we have write dollar message variable is equal to text like user edited. Now we have check output in browser. Hello friends.
when we have click on update button then modal has been pop with particular user data filled with data and here we have changed last name change to smith to parker and click on edit button after clicking on edit button user edited message has been received on web page so this way we can update form data in encrypted form by using php script now we have moved to write code for delete user data, so here in delete button we can see that in did attribute we have stored value in encrypted data and class we have write delete. We will use this class as selector in query code. So in query code we have write dollar document selector with on method and under this we have write click event with delete class. So when we have click on delete button then this code will execute. Under this block we have write id variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write id. This code will fetch id attribute data and store into id variable. Below this we have write crud action variable is equal to delete. We will use this variable at server side. Now we have write if statement and under condition like confirm with message like are you sure you want to delete this, it will pop up with ok and cancel button with this text. If we click on ok then if block of code. Under this block we have write ajax request and under this we have write url option set to user action .php. We have send request to this page. In second option we have write method, and in this option we can define which form data send we should use, so here we have write post. In third option we have write data option and under this we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have defined it and crud action variable data value we have sent to server. In fourth option we have write data type option. In this we can define in which data format we want to receive data, so here we have write JSON data type. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write dollar with span tag id alert action with HTML method and under this we have write data dot message. It will display success message on web page. Lastly we want to refresh data tables data, so we have write user data table variable dot ajax dot reload method, this method will refresh data tables data. Now we have moved to write PHP code for remove user data, so here we have write else if statement and under condition we have write dollar post crud action variable value is equal to delete, if this condition true then it will execute this block of code. Under this block first we want to convert encrypted id data to normal text, so we have write dollar id variable is equal to convert string function with two argument like decrypt and dollar post id variable. This will convert encrypted data to normal text. After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to delete from user table where it is equal to dollar id variable. It will remove particular user data based on value of this dollar id variable. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable. This statement will make query for execution. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute prepare statement query. Lastly we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with key message with value user delete, this message will be seen on web page. Now our code is ready so we have check output in browser. Friends here we can see user data with update and delete button, so when we have click on delete button then we can see confirm pop message with with ok and cancel button. 
so when we have click on cancel button then no action has been taken. Again we have click on delete button then and pop up message box appear on web page and now we have click ok button and after click on ok button user data has been removed from web page. So this way we can process encrypted form data in PHP with MySQL by using Ajax query. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.